Happy New Year and welcome back to part three of my turbo manifold build. Mono, bop, bop. Take two. All right, so I know I've been slacking on releasing a new video, but here it is. This is gonna be part three of my turbo manifold build. So in the last video, I got all the runners mocked up and everything was ready for final welding. I actually ended up starting on this thing last night and I got it most of the way welded. I still have a few welds left that I need to complete. Um, I ran out of argon, so I had to run to my welding supply store and get some more argon, but I got a new bottle now and I'm ready to go. So I'll show you what I have done so far and uh, it was kind of a pain. I was battling some gas coverage issues the entire time. Um, so the welds aren't as nice as I would like them, but they're still okay. Um, I'm still obviously gonna run the manifold, but at this point, I just wanna get it done. I wanna get it on the car. It was a much bigger project than I originally anticipated, especially with my lack of tools that I needed to actually properly build a manifold. Um, but nonetheless, I'm getting it done and uh, I can't wait to see this thing make boost. So let me show you guys what I have done so far and then uh, take it from there. All right, so let's take a look at this manifold. And uh, I still have a couple welds that I need to do on this flange up here. I got all these that I need to do. And then on this last runner here, on this side, I need to uh, focus. I need to finish those guys up. Um, so a lot of them came out pretty decent. Um, let's see, having a hard time focusing. There we go. Yeah, they're not too bad, but uh, yeah, like this one down in there kind of got sloppy and I could tell when the gas coverage wasn't right because my arc started to wander. But um, yeah, I just honestly, I couldn't figure it out um, for a while. So a lot of my welds kind of suffered because of that, but not too bad. I mean, not as like nice as I'd like them, but it's gonna work and uh, I just wanna get this thing done. So got a new, I uh, got a fresh bottle here and uh, I'm gonna get the back purge all set back up and then uh, knock this thing out. So let's get it. So this manifold is finally done. Really like the way that the welds came out uh, at the flange there. Everything else is kind of hit or miss. Um, some spots I did decent, like down in here. And then uh, some of these other spots are like, uh, like over there, kind of some hammered dog shit going on. But uh, overall, super happy with it. Um, considering the headache that it was when I first started. I'll take it. So let's get this bad boy on the car and see how she looks. Look at this thing. Freaking sick. You Man, I'm so ready to drive this car. Too bad I still have a million things to do. But at least this manifold is done. It's taken me like three weeks freaking over it.
I know some of you are probably wondering, oh, where's the external wastegate port? Um, I'm actually gonna be running the internal gate. That's gonna be, uh, I can't really see it from here. Yeah, I still got the, uh, the flapper on here. So I'm just gonna buy an aftermarket um, internal gate and throw it on there. And next up is I ordered a V-band flange so I can run my exhaust. I'm not sure if I wanna do something crazy like coming out the side over here, out this side, or if I'm just gonna go um, straight back um, down by the oil pan. But uh, I got that on the way, so I'll figure it out when it comes. And then uh, as far as the front end here, I'm eventually gonna do a tube bumper. So I'll do like a cool tube bumper and then like a um, splitter on the bottom. And then the front mount will just kind of sit in front of the turbo and everything else. So getting further along in this thing, still got a long ways to go. Still gotta mess with all this wiring, um, do the intercooler piping. Um, I got my my Honda uh, S300 and everything over here, so I gotta mess with the computer at some point. But uh, finally starting to feel like I'm I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So hopefully. Hopefully another month or two and I'll have this thing uh, starting up. So that'll do it for this video, kind of a shorter one, but just kind of want to give an update and mostly just finish this manifold. That's why I didn't film too much. I just wanted to get it out of the way. Well, that's gonna do it for this video and I will catch you in the next one.